Mitch with Acronym here. Today I'm going to demonstrate a situation in which our MTM line can be used for. Here we have a very basic PCB designed for testing an LED light pipe we were considering for a new product of ours. MTM for the most part was designed for the production line where you would be kicking out hundreds of devices, throwing them into a bed of nails test fixture, and then shipping them out the door. However, it can also be a very good engineering tool. As you can tell, the circuit is very simple just three LEDs and three resistors. We will be using an MTM power module to supply the voltage. This device will also allow us to monitor the output voltage and current supplied to the circuit. We will also be using an MTM USB stem, which will be doing most of the work. It will be serving as our interface to the host, monitoring the voltage drop across the LEDs via its analog inputs, and controlling each circuit via its digital I.O. pins. When the digital pin is high, or in high Z mode, the circuit will be disabled. When the digital pin is low, the MTM USB stem will sync the current and enable the circuit. This is a very handy way to control functions in a test circuit, pending the required current is less than what the pin can sync or source. Let's take a look at some of the code I've put together for this test. I will warn you that I got a little carried away with this piece of code, so I'm only going to focus on the main loop. We begin by connecting to the MTM USB stem in the normal fashion by creating spec and module objects. Once the connection is established, we connect to the MTM power module via the brainstem network by connecting through the MTM USB stem. We then need to change the MTM power module's router settings, save, and then reset. Now it's time for the real work. There are three major nested loops here. The first loop controls which circuit we are testing. The second controls how many test cycles we are going to run. In this sense, a test cycle is a large amount of samples averaged together. This will make more sense later. The final control structure is a while loop that will run for a given amount of time. During this amount of time, the program will grab sample data, which includes voltage, current, and analog values. It will then calculate the voltage drop across each device and determine the resistor's value. The program will repeat this process for a given amount of time, taking as many samples as possible. Once the time has expired, it will average all the samples and print them out. This entire process is what I am calling a test cycle, which is controlled by the second loop. After satisfying the given test cycles, it will then move on to the next test circuit, i.e. the next LED. Let's run this test. As you can see, the program cycled through each LED and printed the average data it collected. If this was an actual manufacturing test, I would then compare this data to a set of acceptable values and determine if these components passed or failed the test cycle. I hope this example was useful in demonstrating just one of the many ways our MTM line can be used in production testing or as an engineering tool. If you would like the source files for this example, please visit our website at acronym.com and navigate to our blog. And remember, although these examples were shown using our Python API, our C++ API is also capable of these functions. Additionally, Acronym supports Windows, Mac, and Linux.